Hello friends, how's everybody doing? It's your friend Jeff playing Jagged Alliance 3 in Commodore difficulty and I just want to show you a little something. So we're going to go right into the docks here and the docks are going to be attacked in a, on the night of May 18th as you can see right here. But we're going to go in here and like I said this is Commodore difficulty and I'm only showing a few things uh, once in a while uh, about this game because my first playthrough I might not have done certain things and so here we're going to show uh, we just got the shotgun from Headshot. Anything worth anything here? So okay so as you can see here I have my IMP and you can look at the stats right there. I've got the recruitable in-game Flay, he's a marksman, and they're all kind of similar. You, you'll see that, and I've said this, might have said this before, but the only difference is going to break from all of these because of the way I train them, that the wisdom is the one thing that's going to be off on all of them. And we got our smiley here. You can see his wisdom's only 59, because, you know, we just can't train that, so I mean, you know, whatever. And then his, his rehab Larry, I mean, I already rehabbed him. And then she is one of the ones that I have to actually, you know, pay money every two weeks for her. So she's, that's Meltdown. She's a psycho. And, you know, you don't have to have cycles, but, you know, I got one just in case. And then I have Pierre here. We met him at the beginning of the game in Ernie Island and stuff, and he's recruitable. And then we got him. Now, he's going to be, as you can see here, he's going to have, he's not going to have. Waiting new orders. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, but he's going to have. Uh, stats that are because he just got added to my team so that means you know I didn't have time uh, to train him to get him equal to the upper four people right here like if you look at these guys they're all equal pretty much and then she was you know I had to pay for her so I mean she she doesn't have this is you know you can see her her deficiency and you can see his deficiency but anyways I just wanted to, um, you know, give you a little uh, briefing on that. Come, we go. So now, what I think we're gonna do is because this place is gonna be attacked, uh, we can get some recruitable people to fight this battle with us. Um, and I and, and I might not have done that in my first playthrough, so that's why I wanted to just kind of show that. So I'm gonna take what? Sure. Her. Certainly. And I think we go to this lady right here. There's some loot over there. Who the fuck are you? And what the fuck you want? Okay. Good for you. I'm not. I run a store full of fucking guns. If you came in looking for fucking ice cream and lollipops, you're out of luck. Okay. I'm serious. I got two fists just aching to take the sass right out of your mouth. Well, fuck. Don't take our grand's mouth so serious, sweetheart. I mostly save it for the men. <laughs> I didn't mean the way that sounded. Anyway, it's just the way I fucking talk. I'm Granny Kohani for fuck's sake. Everyone knows me. Back when I was in the Coffee Beans gang, mothers used my fucking name to scare children who misbehaved. The toughest fucking gang in town. In our day, we hung out at the Rai Bar. Good old Ma Baxter ran a box in. And she would slap any fucker who wanted to start shit. Now, she's giving hell only to the devil. And a dumb son is running the bar. Okay, and are you selling them? No, I'm keeping them for sentimental reasons. 
Of course I'm fucking selling the fucking guns. Oh, I'm just fucking teasing. Take a look and see if you can find something you like. Just don't resell anything to the Legion, okay? Okay, so then, um, okay, so now because I went to you and and did that little scammy thing to get the shotgun, then I, I paid for it. But I mean, um, you can see here that we have in this mob box a shotgun. What the fuck? How did you get this relic? No, fuck that, I don't really care. I just want it. I'd trade you my fucking soul for it. If I had one. How much do you want for the gun? Okay, um, wow. <laughs> that can be arranged? Just wait till I tell them about Mobuxter's fucking argument in Okay, so we delivered the invalidator. Because, yeah, I mean, like I said, um, you know, I can... It, it's, a, it's a good shotgun, um, and it's modded, I believe. But, like I said, uh, I don't use shotguns a lot just once in a while and I don't mind you know doing that so that way we can do that uh, we don't sell to the Legion okay like okay so I've I've never done this where I gave her the validator but I already did now and I just wanted to show some of the things that I haven't done in my first playthrough so we don't we don't sell to the Fuck Legion no. No guns for those fucking rapists and marauders. Right. They only get bullies from me. For free. If you know what I mean. Are you planning to do something about their fucking in-night operation? Or are you going to let the fucking Legion take over my fucking talks? Come on. Even the fucking people on the street know about the Legion's grand fucking operation. Those fuckers can't keep a secret, even if their fucking lives depend on it. <laughs> which happens to be the case. Secrecy requires discipline. And discipline is not something in great supply in the Legion. They plan to swarm the place in a few days. See? I even marked the end night date on my calendar. To be honest, I'd be happy to see the old gang together again. But, well, let's say we did not part on the best of terms. If I try to talk to Gal Wilma, Kayla, Wu Trudy, Old Vinny, or especially Madonna, there would likely be some blood spilled. Perhaps you can convince those fucked up old hags to help fight off the Legion. If they're interested, tell them to come see me. I promise I won't shoot them. I will not fail. I am the best at convincing women to do things they would not ordinarily do. <laughs> He's kind of funny. All right, all right, let's go ahead. And I, so I believe that we have this quest now. So let's say goodbye. Goodbye. All right, so we gained 10 loyalty at Port Keiko and donated the shotgun to Granny. So, all right. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm good with that. And now we got the Coffee Beans gang members. So we got tonight to uh, organize uh, them. Will do. So they can help us. And now, when it does happen, you know, I hope that we can keep all these uh, grannies alive. Going. But, you know what I mean, we don't, you know, this can go south really good. Okay, so now w w what I found out was that each one of these ladies, there's a certain thing that you need to do, and I'm hoping that this team is gonna be able to do it. So I'll have her Matt, approach. Speak louder for fuck's sake. Okay, so she might not be the one All Affirmative. Right. So she's not good enough. Let, let's try Pierre. What? Speak louder for fuck's sake! Heading out. Okay, so he. Alejandro is here. What? What? Speak louder for fuck's sake! 
All right, maybe I need the Larry, explosive guy. Let's see. What? Speak louder for fuck's sake! What? What? Speak louder for fuck's sake! All right, maybe I should have brought the other team. <laughs> okay, cause uh, this is failing. Like I'm not. Like this whole team can't. Can't. The hell you want? Okay, stop it. Alright, she's, yeah, Meltdown is a little sure, kind of weird. Alright, well look, tell you what I'm gonna do. Because I think when I came here to try this out, I came with two teams. Uh, but here I got no my, problemo, man. my main team of all these guys Let's go, and girls. So I know that there is a lady over here. So let's, let, move. let's get over here. Now, if I can't recruit her, then... Anything worth anything here? This lady, I believe, is explosive. Larry, and that's clean gonna and sober. be him. So let, let's see. I remember when the coffee bean stores the... Oh. Ah. What was that thing? Anyway, we had to kill every single one of the ants. Oh, what did they call themselves? <laughs> My memory isn't what it used to be. Well, fuck all. Oh, well, maybe she's the... S this is why I got... Alejandro is here. This is why I have, um, meltdown. The hell you want? I think this lady needs psycho. I think. Okay, so let's try this. Dying in bed is for losers. Back when I was a coffee bean, the guys couldn't decide if they wanted to yeah. sleep with me. So okay, so the psycho gets her. So yeah, all right. You call yourselves a gang? Ha! The coffee beans were a real gang. You are just a bunch of mercenaries. Yeah? Yeah, see, I think she... Maybe something we can use in the fight. I remember when the coffee bean stole the... Eh, oh. Ah, what was that thing? Anyway. All right, so I, I don't know. Every single one of the eh. She should. Um, oh, what did they call themselves? <laughs> My memory isn't what it used to be. Back when I was a coffee bean, the guys couldn't decide if they wanted to sleep with me or wet their pants and run. <laughs> Okay, because like I said, I thought done. I thought she was Waiting either. Waiting for orders. All right, she's supposed to walk to the coffee bean. Let us uh, get this safari place. movie. So I don't know why I wasn't able to recruit her right there, unless yeah, if she's not going to her spot. Call All right, ass. All right, look, I gotta test this out because, like I said, sure, boss us around. Because it's gonna take a it's gonna take a day for me to get the other team yeah, here. Yeah, okay. If, if I need somebody on that team to activate all these people. Right? Wait. So yeah, I gotta figure out uh, where everybody is. Cause there's five of these ladies, right? And we gotta get all five of them. And Easy. No problemo, man. Some stuff over there. Yeah, there's one right here. Heading out. All right, so now again, I don't know which one of these. As a matter of fact, yes, all, of, all of these are pretty equal. I'm not that short, okay? Got it. Okay. Larry, clean and sober. Back when I was a coffee bean, the guys couldn't decide if they wanted to sleep with me or wet their pants and run. <laughs> yes. Yeah, see, I've played Let's this. Go. I've played this before where um, <coughs> it, it told you what you needed. Uh, you call yourselves a gang? Ha! The coffee beans were a real gang. You 
are just a bunch of mercenary. I remember when the coffee bean stole the... Eh, oh. Ah, what was that thing? Anyway, we had to kill every single one of the... Eh, oh, what did they call them? Did you see me shooting? Dying in bed is for losers. Yeah, see, when they say dying in bed is for losers, that's when they're supposed to walk to, um... Back when I was a coffee bean, guys couldn't decide if they wanted to sleep with and me. And so, yeah, this is not... Yeah, this... I think this is glitching out, honestly. Because the last time I tried this, like, I, I've done this a few times, like, just practicing and doing different things. And once they say they're not going to die in bed, they take off and go to meet up. And these, these are not doing it. Waiting like, for orders. Like I, and I know one is for strength, one is for melee, one is for psycho, one is for uh, different things and stuff. And so, yeah, um, it's, it's not making... This is not making any sense. And the way that you can test it out, right, is to, you know, tell every, everybody to go over here, for example, and make off you never talk to her. We try, try each one, you know, like. So it's Flay, a marksman, the, uh, but oh. it's not telling us what what huh. thing, and, and this what is something 100% uh, failing on we me. Had to Kill every single one of the eh. so meltdown oh, is is a psycho and one of these ladies needs the psycho. To, I'm not that short, okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm going. And now here's my IMP. Sure. She's a mechanic, you also a gang. <laughs> also a the leader. Bees were a real I mean, gang. If, if you look at her you scores, are just a bunch of mercenaries. She's you know, look at leadership, marksman, mechanical, even explosives. The only thing we're deficient in on all of our guys is medical because we don't have a true medic. Um, and then the wisdom is 87, so I, mean, I know in some things we got to get wisdom to 90, so I haven't quite done that yet. Even health, agility, dexterity, and strength is all in the 90s. And then that's the same case for the, the next four people. If you see here. So that means these all these are dual purpose. Like I the way I did it was to make sure each one of these had high high numbers. Um like Let I us take what we need. Yeah, they they get impatient <laughs> when you're not doing things, but uh anyways. So yeah, so I, I, I'm going to have to just start this over and stuff, I think, because this... What was that thing? Because, yeah. Anyway, I, I, all right, let's go find... We had to kill every single one of the... Uh, what I was going to say was oh, you, call you, you can... You can have each person to talk to them to figure it out, but normally the game will tell you that you need a psycho, Ready. or you need a mechanic, what? or you need strength, or you need uh, whatever. So there's a lady You're somewhere. The boss. There's a lady somewhere over here. Let's move. Like I think she'll stab us. Sure, boss is around. But what I'm telling you is that there, this, out. this is glitched out or something. Got it. This is glitched Wait. out. She's gonna what cut. are you looking at? Never seen a lady lick her machete before. Okay, so They're just vitamins. Let's see. You call yourselves a gang? Ha! The coffee bees were a real gang. You are just a bunch of mercenaries. Yes, going. Dying in bed is for losers. Yes, boss. Back when I was a coffee bean, guys couldn't decide if they wanted to sleep with me or wet their pants and run. <laughs> okay, so this Ready. is, yeah, I mean, this is glitched out, I believe. I honestly, I, am here. 
I honestly Alejandro Diaz, brave and noble. That this glitch though. We? You call yourselves a gang? Ha! The coffee beans were a real gang. You are just a bunch of mercenaries. Yeah, this is, like I said, the coffee bean members. Alright, so let's. I mean, this is ridiculous. There was a famous, yeah. Okay, so the coffee bean gang. There was a famous gang. Okay, Operation Night, the night, Nights. You, yeah. it says, we'll join the fight. Operation Night, we'll join the fight. Okay, so look, it says that they will join the fight. Okay, well, this... Okay, well, all, all, all I'm gonna tell you is that this is kind of weird, right? The hell you want! Because, yeah, she... The only, you know, the thing about Meltdown is she's she's uh, kind of weird. Right? She, she, she always does that, but... It, it, it says... But what I... Okay, so how did it instantly happen then? So, I mean, so to me... I'm sorry to say that uh, this didn't go down the way it normally goes down. Like it, it's kind of weird. Heading out. I mean, I know I have dual purpose uh, personnel. The only deficiency is wisdom, not at 90, and you're the boss. And medical, I guess. But but you can see right what? here. Normally, you need to have one specialty of every particular thing because each one of these gets recruited in a different way. Like one lady might be for strength, one lady might be for psycho, one m for mechanic, or one... Alejandro is here. You know what Alejandro I'm saying? Alejandro Diaz. But when, I, but, noble. but when I look at the notes, it says they're already recruited. So was it some like she can't talk to the ladies and all the ladies need to come over here and talk to her once you talk to them. And so this is why I doubt this. Like I, I actually I doubt doubt it because normally uh, I'm just saying the way this quest is supposed to work. Alejandro is here. Ready, certainly. Just like the lady that has the the machete, she didn't like normally. She stabs one of us. Normally, when you go to what? talk to her, she'll stab us. Let's go, friends. It's, it's not a. It's not a. It's not a. And I think it's this. Yeah, the cutter. It's her. Got it. So the normal thing is, you take yeah. somebody. Like, well, he's. Yeah, all he's, right. We're all. We. He's explosives, right? That's his specialty. But he trained everybody else in explosives so we're all kind of equal so it's kind of weird the way this may be because of the way that i came into this where the other time when i came into this to try this out was when i didn't have everybody trained up towards the high numbers like i had i had an i had an explosives guy you know no. uh, I, I, I might have had a, sh a strength guy i might have had Sure. You know, somebody like her that's a mechanic. You want uh, something? And then I knew, I knew ahead of time to have somebody that has the perk psycho. Just like my lady is a negotiator. So if one of these ladies needed a negotiator, see it says talk with Meltdown to her. But the Meltdown is a psycho like she is uh, what that is i remember when the coffee bean stole the eh, oh yeah huh. see this doesn't oh, you call yourselves a gang this doesn't ah. this doesn't make the any coffee sense coffee beans were a real gang you dying in bed is for losers 
I remember when the coffee bean stole the. Oh. Ah. Like what I like I mean? said, the dying anyway, in bed is the. What are you looking at? The never seen a lady lick a machete before. You call yourselves a gang? Ha! Yeah, the and one of and one of the ladies might gang. might have wanted a lady to I talk to a her. Bunch of mercenaries. So I have two ladies. I have Meltdown and I have Rianne, which is yes. my trainer and my mechanic. And so you can see, none, you can see that me, none of us. Guys couldn't decide if they wanted to sleep with me. You can see that none of us got stabbed. And, <laughs> and so cool. this. It says that they're they're all it che it's checked that it's all recruitable. So maybe I did something in the dialogue or something because we are moving out. It doesn't seem uh, to uh, you know what I'm saying. Like this it is. It will be done. I think what I should do is just heading out. Launch the attack and see. And so I, so I can tell you that when you're doing this quest, if if you don't have the right person talk to them, it'll show what you need. It'll show like you need somebody with strength, or you need somebody with wisdom, or you need somebody with uh, whatever. You know what I mean? And so I think out. this is crazy because this is Hannah right here. We're moving out. And so yeah, I I know that, and, and this is where uh, Hugh is with um, Lurch. Lurch doesn't talk, and you. This is how you you know you have the red hair uh, wig, and you get the shotgun from him, and then you can give it to her, which is what I did. And Larry, and so clean and sober. I guess I'm wondering if maybe because it's already scheduled that it's gonna happen and because I gave her like okay so the only difference is from when I did it before testing it out I didn't have the shotgun or I already had sold the shotgun or trashed it or whatever and so I didn't have the option to give her the shotgun right um and then I had to go talk to each one of these ladies, and then if the first, if um, if the first person wasn't, you know, strength or something, then I had to find somebody who had strength and talk to, her, and it would tell me right up here. It would tell me. So when I click on here, what? it would say something, you know, like whatever, strength or psycho or mechanical. So yeah. So you know what I think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just go ahead and see if this battle is gonna happen. I mean, uh, the f cause it says that waiting for orders. It says that Let's they've go. already been recruited, like, and I and and you can see here in this video that I did not talk to for love and glory. I did not talk to everyone, right? Heading out. Better not leave anything I mean, behind. We, we talked to the lady at the docks. We talked to the lady that either needed explosives or she needed uh, a psycho. Um, and we talked to the cutter. So I don't even Heading know. Out. I'm just going to roam around for a moment because I, I, I know don't I don't understand. And, and this was just to be able to show you how to recruit these people. And yet they're already recruited, it seems, because that's it has it has green check marks in the notes. C'est parti. And so this is very. Let's move. This is a very odd uh, thing uh, for it to occur. Now, yeah. Now, did we not talk to this lady? This is old Vinny. Let, let's have her go over here. Yeah. I remember when the coffee bean stole the eh, oh. Ah, what was that thing? 
You call yourselves a gang? Ha! The yeah. coffee beans were a real gang. I would, no, I would just think. A dying in bed is for losers. See, so dying in bed is for losers. Yeah, doctor. Once they say that, they're supposed to go talk. Now, if she just stops, yeah. See, she just stopped. Yeah. So this is kind of. Oui. I'm thinking. Yes, boss. Maybe giving the shotgun to her somehow makes this an odd behavior because none of these ladies. I'll walk in over here because what what would happen if you I guess I don't know if you didn't give the shotgun to her maybe this operates much better like you need to have a mixed team when you come into here and I, and I think I came in with two teams and I, here I only got my best team right here yeah cuz if I show yeah let me do this <laughs> This this is re totally 100% ridiculous. Okay, so this is my best team, right? And then this is a hired team of Red and Barry because they work good together. Uh, we got Grizzly and Fox because, you know, they work good together. And we have uh, Livewire and we have Mouse. And the and um, you know, and so yeah, you can see these guys. And like I said, I didn't spend a lot of time with these guys. And so these are like your normal guys that you would hire and pay every two weeks. And Red is, as you can see here, like he's he's deficient in agility health, uh, leadership, mechanical, medical, even strength, he's deficient. So it would take a lot of training for him. Barry's a little bit better. You know, and Grizzly, right? He's an all-arounder, he's got 96 HP, but if you look at him, you could see his biggest faults are, are agility and, and, and dexterity. That's a killer, you know, of not having agility and dexterity. That means he can't move far and he doesn't have enough AP to even shoot a gun. Like, I mean, maybe get one shot if that, depending on the gun that you give him. And that, and that, and that requires that you don't even move. You know what I mean? Like, you, you stay in one spot where you are. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he's got good marksmanship. And, and of course, his strength and health are excellent. So you would use him to train somebody in strength and health, basically. And then you're going to have to use somebody to train him. And the, and the first things that you're, you're going to want to do is train him in agility and dexterity because he can't move much and he can't shoot much. And so, you know, what's the point of even having marksmanship if if this guy can only make one shot and not move or just move a few paces and then whatever. So that that's his biggest, you know, thing. Um, but again, what I'm going to tell you is, um, just for informational purposes, all these people are cheap compared to the other people that you can get by and then you know what I mean they're gonna suck up like like I had I had Scully and Gus and those two guys between Scully always complaining about his kids that he needs more money and then he goes from like say I don't know like 45,000 to like 60,000 for a two-week period and then, you know, Gus takes like fifty thousand. So I mean, you're talking, you're talking to have those just those two guys on your team. You're talking like, I have I have eight hundred thousand right here, right? And just for those two guys, I'm gonna lose like a hundred and thirty thousand of that when I have to renew his contract. So I so I drop them. But the the, the point of what I'm trying to make like overall is that. You know what I mean? These guys, 
you know anywhere from five to ten thousand I have to renew the contracts so it's not so it's it's much more economical to have them and I think they're they're over here at the moment uh, they're uh, they're making some militia militia right now because the plan is to get six outposts so I can come over here you know and rescue the uh, pr president and get spike and so yeah so I think what I, what, what I want to do because this is a, a long dragged out video and it's not working the quest is not working the way it normally does and so now I think what I will do is I'll go back to I mean what I could have done is I could have had this team also uh, here like I said the only I'm just gonna say the only anomaly of the way this normally works if you didn't know about the shotgun you talk to her you get the quest and you go talk to each lady and you find out oh no I need strength with this lady or I need you know whatever explosives or I need psycho and that's why I, I you know that's the only reason that I got uh, meltdown and because she's kind of nasty but in a way that's her personality like each person has a personality but so just like for example if I show you you know red is always swearing right even when I got him on a team with his buddy and he doesn't like women and 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 I do I do have three women and I do have three men so I don't know because I think eventually she she gets on red I think but I just got these temporarily anyways. I can always separate these and I can always make a different team. Like I could drop I could drop the women right over here along with Grizzly. And then I could put a couple of guys in here and then he'll be happy and stuff like that. But eh. So yeah, I don't, you know, so uh, all right, so, so I've talked about a, bu a bunch of things. So let me just see because I can load this again and, and try it again, but I think what I want to do is I want to just do this. Well, that's done. Ready and available. And so they're making a militia at the moment. So I'm going to progress time. Okay, so now Pangrel downtown. Oh, Pangra. Okay, so no, I'm not there. And this is why you want to have militia set up there, because they are the attack. And, and what you do by having this militia is it slows the enemy down. Right, they're trying to get this. They will, they will keep attacking until they get this, and then they'll go to the next section. And the reason that you'd want to do kind of stuff like that is simply because... You know what I mean? You need to hold six outposts, like a place that says outposts like this. You have to have six of these when you come up here to take uh, the to save the president. And by owning the six, you know that gives you a good chance of getting to recruit Spike, which would be you know, the fifth uh, one that you could recruit for free. Because if you look at it, one, two, three, four, five, counting my IMP, I don't have to, I don't have to pay for them. And so, so technically you could play the game with, with a team of six, your IMP plus the five recruitables. And you, you could technically pay this game and never have to pay any money. Not, you know what I'm saying? And then when you make like four or five million, then you can go ahead and hire who you, who you want to assist you and stuff like that. But 
Uh, so yeah, so what what we're trying what I'm trying to do is I'm here and I'm waiting for the AI to come and attack this place because um, I think it's supposed to happen. Right? We're at we're at K nine, and so one of these. Yeah, I just want to see if one of these will attack. See, and see, this is the second attack. There. And we'll just close it. So, so here for me to just try to show you this, I have to sacrifice in other areas. So, but, but we'll just do that because... I want to see if this quest is broken in some way. Okay, and now at these slums we trained three. So that other team trained three there. Because it has to be, an, a, a, just like I could have intercepted this and got 12,000 in, in diamonds, but um yeah because what did it say did it say the 19th and we're only on the sixth we're only on the 16th so yeah i could be doing a whole bunch of other things instead of doing this but i'll tell you this though right at this place all these items here, like these right here, are all there in the stash for us to uh, go get later on and stuff like that. So even if they win that, but I have to get to the 19th. We're only on the 16th, and so I'm wasting a lot of time. So then I can show you that if I go over here and, and, and then I complained about like him with dexterity, right? So... They they can't move if they don't have dexterity. So I can I can show you that we can do a training, right? And we can go we can go to dexterity. And I because if I'm gonna waste three days, I might as well have these guys getting some training. So Fox, for example, she's a hundred on dexterity. Mouse is ninety five. So and we can train up to ninety one. So we'll use Fox. And if you select her, you can see that this thing says two skilled, so she can't do it. So it'd be this one, this one, this one, and that one. And look at him. He's 61. This is terrible. This is why he can't move much in a, in a battle. And so therefore, I will stop that. And I think what you could do is, mouse is too high to be trained in that field so we'll just tell her to have a we'll tell her to have a drink and there we'll let them oh and then their contracts are gonna come up and then yeah and then i can show you i just you, seem to have a knack for learning new things what I, can i tell you i can show you what what um okay so mouse is finished so the game will stop once one of the f things that you do in the operation and you can see that I'm making 18,000 a day right now because we have a few mines. But the enemy's going to be trying to take them, and I'm not there to protect them. So it's, it's possible that this will go down. But again, I'm only paying for a meltdown and these six right here. And so this contracts will come up out of something, but we're waiting for the 19th. So I want to see if, if the coffee beans... Like th this, there's an anomaly that I'm saying about this, okay? Because <laughs> this this quest is not supposed to work this way. <laughs> Whatever I talked with uh, the leader, something just didn't go down the way it normally goes down. 
because it, it should be a, a process to, to, to recruit each one of those five ladies. Like it's, it's, you can't just, but again, these people are multi-purpose. So maybe that's, that is possible, a possibility of what screwed this up. Maybe, um, that's one thing that I can say, but let me go ahead and, and do this. Cause I'm trying, I guess I'm, I'm trying to show you different things now. So yeah, okay, so let's, uh, I'll show you the incomes of these seven uh, people that expire every 14 days. So this is a process, right? So you can see this is my IMP. So it cost me 7,000 at the beginning of the game to make her. And on Commodore difficulty, you only start with 30,000. On first blood, you start at 40,000. But anyways... With that being said, so she costs 7,000 and then she doesn't cost me anything the rest of the game. And then the first person that I raced to get was Flay. He's, he's free. And I've already got him to level seven. And I got him with these perks here. Uh, he had this perk. So he's gonna be one off on everything else that I'm gonna give him because um, you can see her uh, this shows the the progress of what I gave her I gave her reactive fire now this one I gave her out of order because at the time I didn't have the dexterity or I didn't have something where I could have gave her these other things this is the first perk I give her free move range with light armor and then she either got this or that, and then this. But there was something that I couldn't give her, so, but I knew I had to give her Frog Leaping later on. I got her, and then we have Kill Zone, and we have uh, Sharpshooter. So I know I'm digressing on what I was gonna tell you, but anyway, so, so Flay is free, Smiley is free. And you can see that I'm concentrating on certain perks. Like Smiley had this, so he had the 20% extra health to start with. You have no control over that. And then the rest of the ones I gave him. And then I even gave him reactive fire. And then we got Larry, uh, drug Larry, and then rehab Larry. This is rehab Larry. And this, uh, the 20%, I gave him after he got rehabbed. So that way he gains back his health because he takes a hit in health when you rehab him. And then these are all his scores and he got, he got his marksmanship maxed out. So that was kind of cool when he got rehabbed. Like I said, they, they give him a lot, except, you know, wisdom doesn't change unless you read a book or you do, or something happens. But you can't train it and uh, and then medical that's the deficiency that my team has at the moment and then Pierre was the last guy that I got and that's why he's not up to snuff yet and Pierre had this one and this one and then I finally gave him this one because I, I plan to give them all light light stuff so they can move because I, I found movement to be a big deal in this game okay and then we're going to get back to the paid people okay so now red for being a level five guy i mean he's got deficiencies my contract's expiring, and I was wondering if you'd be willing to rectify the situation. So you can see 8,000, right? You're not a... And so, yeah. Now, Meltdown, she's level 5. And I haven't had her for a very long time, but I had her long enough to give her... Uh, these three perks she was deficient in something so I had to give her something at the time so I gave her this 
out of what I would normally give them. So as you can see, and I gave her like some of this stuff because she didn't have any of this. <laughs> okay, so. So yeah, and she's gonna be due in four days, so I might as well just uh, do it. Hey there, it. boss. And so Our little contract is almost up. Yeah, you are a little nasty. You want nasty. me to keep killing folk for you or what? Uh, yeah, yeah, but you are a little nasty. But anyways, um, so uh, so I'm just showing you the the cost of these people. So at level five, she's still only she's nine thousand. So you know, almost to ten thousand. I was about to tell you where to stick it. Yeah, okay. All right, and then Fox is a really... She's only level 2, because I haven't had her very much. Because I've had Buns, but I had to get rid of Buns, because she hates uh, Fox, and she'll cost you more money. I'm a busy girl, and there are a lot of people who'd like to get serviced by me. You and don't want to wait until the last minute to make a commitment to our future. And to be honest, I had to have Grizzly on the team in order to even recruit her. Um, but what? Because once she finds out Grizzly's on, then she'll come on. And she, only five thousand, but she's only level two. But five thousand—that's a bargain. I'm glad to know you like what you see. And if you get ready to see some more. And if you train her in different areas, you know, then she'll become very effective. And then she has a couple of key areas that you can use her to train to get that particular thing, like dexterity, for example. And so this is just to show you the cost of these particular ones. Because if I, if I go to the legendary ones, right, you can see that, that Gus, and I've already had him on my team, and, and, and matter of fact, uh, you can see here that, um, where is he? Um, I think it's Len. Yeah, I think it might be Len or it could be, could be, I, I forget who it was like um, at the time. I think he was MIA or he was offline or something. So I could, so in order for me to get Gus, I had to get Scully. And then you can bring him out of retirement. And then, it, you know, and I just want to show you, right? Um, you can see that this, this, this weapon is fully modded. It's because I've already had Scully. I had him for a while, but... But this guy... It says 31,000 and then you go for two weeks that price goes up and on top of that every other time he wants something for his kids because he's got like 21 kids or something like that and and it's like 60,000 that you have to pay for him for a two-week period and Gus at 36,000 and then you go for two weeks that's like around 40 or 50,000 and so what I'm trying to say is just for two guys, I don't want to be paying. Even right now, I got 900000 at the very moment that we talk about this. I do not want to blow $130,000 for just two people. And, and, and like I said, you can see that I had him because he, he did not have a fully modded M14, okay? This is a fully modded M14. It's because this is what I had him use. And I didn't take it away from him when I dropped him because I'll recruit him again later on. And Gus, um, I took... Uh, like he, he had, I, I, I'm thinking he's the one that had the M14 maybe, like a basic one. And then I decided to just give him uh, this uh, because it has a grenade launcher on it. And, um, and I think I gave him this. And eventually I would take this away and that away and just put light stuff on them because... 
Uh, his dexterity is pretty good. His agility is a little off. You need to get that higher. And of course, you know, his health. And but but he's level eight, right? I mean, he's he's pretty up there. And then this guy's only level five. And if I look at his stuff, he looks. Yeah, I mean, he really looks pretty good. Like, um, he's got really good numbers everywhere, pretty much. But, again, he's going to cost you $60,000 every two weeks. And that is a chunk of dough. Now, when you have $5 million, it might not matter to you. But, but in the beginning of the game, it does matter. And so, yeah. So you could say that I'm crazy for letting him go with this uh, fully modded weapon. And it, it might be that, but I, I'm going to need these two guys when I go fight the Major. So, um, so that is that. Now, Elites, you know, I had, I had Vicky. And, and I just, you know, I gave her this for now. And I gave her that. And some clothing maybe or something I gave her you can see you can tell because if anybody you see that has this free move range then you know that I had them on my team because that's the first perk that I give all of my people <laughs> because I, I don't want like maybe uh, like if I go to my team for a bit of uh, Maybe Larry, yeah, La even Larry has it, even though Larry has the shaman's uh, heavy stuff. So this would be a no-go. But, but because I got this, I wanted somebody to have this, this armor. Because this is, you know, the Death Squad armor. And, the, and you get that from... And, and if you look at this, it can't be combined with weave or ceramics. So you can't enhance what this already is. But it is something special in the game to get from the shaman. So I, I let... He's the only one on my team that will have this. And that's why this perk... Um, he shouldn't have but again I didn't know because um, because like I said I, I've never completed the refugee camp before you know doing it all the quests like so I was able to do all the quests of the refugee camp and by doing that he gives you this so um, but anyways, let, let's get, I, I, I keep digressing, and I'm, I'm, I apologize for that. So let's see, and then Mouse, she hasn't even earned a perk yet, because I recently recruited her. And then I gave her this weapon. So let's see, hey, it, you know, how about you extend my contract? for a two-week period, it's only going to cost me 7000 I want... And then, of course, Barry is good because he makes these grenades every four days or something. And you can see he came with this perk. And then I gave him this one and this one. So he's level four. My contract is of expiring duration. Let us reach new agreement. So I think when you hire him, he's already level two and he has two perks. Anyways. Um, but I had him long enough to, to, to get him up to two uh, levels. So 8,000, that's still a bargain. This gives me pleasure. Hi. So that is that. Now, liveware should be relatively cheap. She's only level one. Hello. Yeah. You know, the sweets here aren't as bad as I thought. Five thousand. Anyway, my contract needs to be extended. How about it? So, and don't forget, we're talking about a two-week period. And it's only 5,000, so I mean, not bad. I am truly happy. That's kind of cheap. And, and like I said, um, she's got dexterity, she's got wisdom, which are very big deals. 
and she's got mechanical at 85 so that's you know because when I made my IMP I had 85 in mechanical which is a field that I sacrificed uh, marksmanship because I knew later on I could I could train in marksmanship when I get flay and stuff like that and so you you make those considerations when you're creating your IMP but again she's a bargain at that price and with some training she'll she'll do much better and then grizzly like I said um, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's got high stuff, but this is right here is a killer. You know, you, you got to be able to move in this game, and you got to be able to have a bunch of AP so you can shoot your gun a couple times, if so, and stuff like that. So, so, so yeah, I am going to have to work with him. And you can see that I gave him this, and it's almost fully modded. And, of course, you can't mod that, but, um, all right, let's contact him. Yeah, about this contract, it's about up. Are we renewing, or what's the deal? And he likes a, a lot of Americans on your team, but anyways, um, you can see that for 14 days, it's only 5,000. Yeah, granted, he's only level 2, but still... And I am gonna have to work with him and, and get him higher. But for right now, five thousand is a bargain. It's always better the next time around, right? Especially, right. especially when I'm getting close to a, a million. But then again, if the enemy takes one of my mines, uh, it's gonna, you know, make it harder to to make that money until I get that mine back. But you gotta keep those kind of things in mind. And so, yeah, so. So you can see that I had like 900 and I don't know what I had, 900 and something thousand. And having one, two, three, four, five that I don't have to pay money for. And then having one, two, three, four, five, six, seven that I do have to pay money every two weeks. You can see having these people, it's pretty cheap. And I think that that is all that I wanted to say. And you can see Thor has this because I did have him for a little while. And I had buns. But what I, you know, don't like, I mean, she's okay. Like, she's a pretty good shooter. And, you know, I gave her that I believe and I gave her this and then I dropped her because you know the moment you have her on any of your teams and she knows Fox is there she wants another three or four thousand every time you renew with her and um, sorry but I'm not gonna do that <laughs> okay And like I said, I had Vicky. I don't. Yeah, I don't think I had nails. And Hitman. I've I've played him before in my first campaign that I put online. Um, I know he has a conflict with Raider. Because he's a Hitman and Raider's a cop, and and then Raider's. Uh, lady is Raven but it's kind of funny how um, Hitman likes Raven but Raven as far as I'm concerned <laughs> is is married to him <laughs> so <laughs> and they're both kind of like cops so <laughs> Cops and hitmen don't don't work together like like it should. <laughs> you know what I mean? Unless the cop is uh, corrupt. But uh, this this game is kind of weird in some ways. But I think and so when I started my team, I had my IMP, I had uh, MD, and I had Barry, and I think I had Grizzly. I believe that's the way I went into the game. 
and so as you can see I dropped some of them but anyways okay so we I think we, we're good enough if I go to my team and long as I look here quickly everybody is hired for the next couple of weeks so we're, we're good with that and you can see that these guys are training so I, I can go ahead and play it. I just it. seem to have a knack for learning new things. What can I tell you? Okay, so, and now you can see that the enemy is going to this mine. It's it's 7 against 10. So if they get that, I'm going to have to eventually send a team over there to get it back. Because, you know what I mean? I want to build up the money. But we survived, but we lost three... Uh, uh, two elite and one veteran and it looks like this guy even almost got killed and him and these two seem to be great so yeah it won't be you know the enemy's gonna keep attacking so eventually they will get it and and that's why you're gonna need more than one team in this game um, to protect those kind of things because you know uh, the the money is a big deal, but we're we're May seventeenth. As a matter of fact, what I what I could do, and 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 and, and this is probably something that I should have done, you know, a, a day or two ago, is I can look at okay. So like for example, what does Pierre need? Like Dexterity, for example. Oh, see, she's at 84. Now, we ain't gonna worry about these guys because we know they're all equal. So, I mean, it's only these two. So, so Dexterity or Agility, right? Agility is AP and Dexterity is basically kind of like your movement. So I think what I'm going to do is I will tell them to, I might as well try to change, you know, let's go to dexterity uh, and I'll just show you this here that, that I should be doing that. So I could use Larry, but she is a trainer. So she's got 93 and you can't do, you can't do 91 or more. So, so I will take her because she. She's going to cost me less time and it's going to be more efficient and stuff. And then I can't add him. So these are the two that need it. And so while we're just sitting here. And matter of fact, uh, I could do the same thing for these guys that ain't doing anything. And now we're just going to watch this for a moment. Because we're going to see an enemy come here for the 19th. Now we're at May 18th, so it might happen. And this is just to show you, even though this is going to be a long video, of all kinds of failures of me trying to do something and, and not knowing the reason why it's not working. And, and they're almost going to complete their training cycle. And you can see that she's already up increase her AP by one because I let her have a drink and stuff like that and we're right here on train and so we're gonna be close and it's gonna get to the 19th we got to get to the the night of the 19th and this and while I'm doing all this we're sacrificing everything else in the game because we're not doing it so it shows here Red got dexterity too, and the others below him. And so he gains some dexterity. And, 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 and I can just show you like this that we're going to go ahead and do it again because these guys are just sitting idle because I'm not, I'm not doing anything at the moment. And I think she has a training perk too, so we'll we'll let her do that. And the nice thing is that um, Barry is at 90, so this training cycle will put him at 91, and then we can't train him anymore in that. So it's nice that he's going to be at 91, 
which is a high stat. And her at 84, and if she gains a couple, that's good. And now red is at 83, but Grizzly's at only 64. And this is even after already giving him dexterity training, and I'm going to do it again. The only one that can't do it is her because she's, her, she's too skilled. And you can see that. So we will start that. And I'll, and I'll pause the game. Okay, so here, here it is. Okay, good. It already hit us by doing that. So, okay. So now while we are going to fight this, it's going to be, it says 14 to 17. Now, what we're going to see when we do this, and this is just an experiment, because when I looked at the notes, it said that all of those were recruited, all those five ladies. So, but I also have eight uh, uh, military here, too. And so, this is why... Yeah, see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I got eight militants. So it's not showing, it's not showing the ladies, the five grannies. But we're going to go ahead and do it. And so this is supposed to be nighttime. And I only have one team. Uh, the time that I did it before, because, you know, I've gone back and forth in this game, trying different things. Um, I had two teams, but here I only got one team. And so, um, and yeah, and so I I'm just going to tell you, the time when I did it before, all these ladies were all in this area right here talking to each other when this happens. But now what you see is yeah because like i said if if that lady like i'm ho okay let's take a look i just i'm just showing you something that's kind of odd you know like of the way this happened because she's still here that must mean she is still here and that must mean that she that that lady is still in here and and she's gonna have a surprise because the enemy is gonna be in here so she so I don't think this this really worked um, and Flay should kill two opponents in the same turn well the only way that he's gonna do that if if and I don't even think Flay I don't even know what gun I gave Flay now, if he doesn't have a grenade launcher then how is he going to kill two in one turn unless he doesn't move and he's able to uh, have enough AP to sh I mean, so this is a oh, okay. So I'm going to tell you with two teams, I had to put one here and I think I put one. I think I had put one over here or something. But anyways... All I'm going to tell you is I know for a fact the enemy is going to do a double spawn here and, and here and they're going to spawn somewhere somewhere over here I think or somewhere um, but I only have one team so we're going to deploy here for right now. Let us make this aunt more of a challenge. Okay, so old Winnie, okay, so see, and Mad Hannah, okay, so they are gonna, oh, look it, she's way the heck over there, and look, see, see, this isn't the way it's supposed to work, and, and I'm just telling you, but you, I could show you, like, if you watch, if you watch the beginning of this video, you'll see how much of an odd time I had trying to recruit these people when they seem to be already recruited. And and, 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 I, and I'm just wondering if when I gave, because I gave the shotgun or something, that that magically recruited these people. Because the way this is going to go down, 
Okay. The way this is going to go down, I'm going to lose reputation because I think... Uh, the, because these ladies did not meet with... Uh, not headshot, but the lady that was over here, that granny. I don't know where the I don't even know where she is, to be honest. A and then Kayla the Cutter, look. She's surrounded by three of these. And and so yeah, so 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 I would I would say at this very moment, for anybody watching this. I would mention, you know, I don't know if the shotgun made the difference and, and these people all wherever they are, because normally you can come in here with a squad of six that has all different professions and, and you can recruit the, you know, using a cycle, a strength, I think maybe strength is f to get um, this one over here because she's melee so sh so you would need somebody with high dexterity and strength maybe to, to hire her and then and like I said the normal thing is she's she automatically will stab you when you're recruiting her and she says it's just a light scratch and that's how you know you recruited her and then this whatever the explosives one is whatever the strength one or or ex F psycho and stuff like that so so that to me that's the better way of doing it because they're all right here they're not in their own individual areas they leave their areas and they meet up with her right here so they're all right here. So when the battle starts, they're all together and none of them are isolated because she is going to be the first one that gets killed. And then look at this one here, Rudy. How can Rudy stop these three right there? And then we got this guy over here, which we're not going to worry about him at the moment. So I've got to decide now, how can I, because like I said, uh, this whole video was supposed to show you how to recruit these people and, and, and how they would normally go over to the, her and talk to her because she can't talk to them to recruit them. You have to recruit them, but somehow it said they will all join the fight. So I mean, I don't know why it went that way. So maybe you could put it in the comments of what you think happened as to why this didn't work the normal way. But, okay, but now I'm going to show you what I could possibly do to try to help them. So my best person here is her. What? And the reason I'll tell you is because she can at least go all this distance and will be able to do something I don't know if it's gonna help her but I've got to try because if these people die if any of them die right now. I'm gonna lose reputation so this is the maximum distance that she can go with her abilities and so we have a choice we could we could we So she only has 5 AP. So she could either shoot once or she could launch a he round. So would it be better? Would it be better? says no mishap let's try it we will beat them down oh I am wounded 
So dependent, so I'm going to say dependent on how much health she has. Because I, I did it in a way where it didn't hurt her. And it only hit these three right here. And they're all severely wounded. So he's got five, one, eight. Yeah, so I mean, so all three of these are going to shoot her, and... Alright, well that's the, that's the, that's the first thing that I can do with her. And then for an example, I can tell her to go right there, get some cover a little bit. Because I know there's an enemy somewhere over here or somewhere, but anyways, okay. So now let's try, uh, Flay. Maybe, maybe I could put Flay here. And with him, uh, I think I'm just gonna. This will be so easy. I'm, I'm just gonna. Broke. I'm gonna tr just try a, a a a burst, even though it's nighttime. But I, if he has a thermal scope, he should be okay. And we'll just go into the chest because that guy is severely wounded. We want to just center the fire so that way we could possibly hit him. So let's see what happens. All right, so now. Oh, you know what? Um, I forgot about this. Oh, gee. Cause let let's see, does Flay have? Oh, he only has a flashbang. See now, if he had a heat round, if I did the same thing that Rhiannon did, um, with all these guys severely wounded, and if he could plant it without hurting her. Like, I don't know if he'd have a mishap, but he would have probably killed all three of these, and then I would have had this secured if he had a heat round. It, but even maybe the other round would have done it. I don't know. But he doesn't have any more uh, AP. And so, therefore, um, you know, he eliminated one of them. Now I could try one more. Alejandro Diaz, brave and noble. Cause Smiley, I could get him to here. Make sure the chicas are watching. And you can see that he does have a thermal scope, so so this might work. Should I shoot those? Now. The problem is he can't use burst fire because he doesn't have enough AP. He's locked in, so we'll try it. I hope he doesn't miss. If you would like, I could teach you how to shoot that thing. Yeah, see, he missed. Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. But it is nighttime, so that can be a problem. So the only other yeah? person that I could possibly move is Larry. Now Larry has a flashbang too, so I mean, oh, this is very challenging because I could I could flashbang them. They're severely wounded. Just the blast alone could possibly kill them. But if but if Larry has a mishap and hits her, then you know what I mean? So I think what we're just gonna do This kind of shot ain't my bag, man. But see he's saying I mean look at he's got he's got he's got a like he either has a red dot or a UV dot and a thermal scope and it's nighttime. And, and you're telling me that he can't make this shot. Let me see, even if I were to go to this, it's just about in range, right? So I guess then I'm going to have to do the flashbang. I guess. It's the only way to try to see if I could help uh, this lady survive this onslaught that she's near. So let's try it. 
Okay, so what that accomplishes... Yeah, but see, now they're showing six. So yeah, I don't know how this is going to work, but... I've done all that I can do to try to save Kayla the Cutter. Like, I... You know, she's got to either go to cover or, or she's going to... She, she should, when it's her... Okay, so... I don't know if after my turn, um, the enemy's going to have their turn again, or is the, uh, the allies going to have their turn, because she could probably slice both of these and kill them. But if it's their turn, both of them are going to shoot her, and they're at point blank. So, I mean, uh, but, but, but I done, look at I use the four of my best personnel in this game like these are the four best that I could possibly have at this point without buying Scully and Gus again or something but anyways and so I've done a, the best job that I could possibly do for her because these two need more training because he was he was recently recruited and and then I got her because I, I wanted to have a psycho because I knew somebody here needed a psycho to join. But you can see how this didn't work. So now we see those over there. And so the only thing that I could possibly do is see if I could get a shot on these guys. I don't know if it's even I am here. If it's even possible. Because if you look at it over here, you see the the uh, mili milita, and so if uh, Trudy or whatever her name is over here, she's surrounded by her own the, the milita, so she ain't gonna be in danger, I don't think. And we have, and then there's these guys over here, the mil mil the militia. So I mean, these guys, and old Vinny is right here. And Mad Hannah is here. So yeah. Alright, so so the only ones that we have that are that are gonna be need some help is them. So it's either this turn should should I move these guys? Is it is it Yeah, I don't I don't even know if I can do it. Because there's no way of crossing the water or that. So, I mean, I think what we'd have to do is... Yeah, because look, if we could shoot through the window... Oh, yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe if I... Yeah, if I get him here... This had better work! If I get him to here, maybe... No way! This will not work! See? Alright, look. Like, can it go through the window? Can it go through the window and get these guys? Let's try it. Yeah, see now. Pierre gained one in explosives. But because he moved that maximum distance, he has, you know, he only has two AP. And that's not enough. All right, so that could help. Okay, so here's where Trudy is. Okay, so that that could help her. So now, all right, now. You want something? Now she's just purely a sniper. That's all she is. I mean, she does have a flashbang. So she might be able to snipe. Yeah, let, yeah. Let, let's I'm see. Going. She might be. 
It might be too far for her, but we'll try. Do I look like a magician? Forget it. Yeah, this might not help. But I am here. It's all that I can do. I mean, it really is. Down here. Yeah, see, this is only 30 range, and I am here. Yeah, and his is 30 range too. So I mean, yeah, it's it, that's at the maximum right there. I, I like look, you can see the cutoff right here. So if they don't walk, and then uh, you know, okay, so let let's let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. That's all I can do. I only got six members. I only have one squad here, so that's all I can do. Yeah, now look, he's gonna walk into it. But, but, Forward but, look at, so is he gonna shoot at, oh, he's setting up against her. And he's setting up against her. Yeah, she's gonna get killed, and I'm gonna lose five rep or something. So, yeah, uh, if, unless Pierre and them, oh, yeah, look, these two. Okay, so there's two things we can do over there. We can either run over there and give her a bandage, plus run the other three over there to shoot, shoot and kill those guys. So it's, it might still be possible to save her. Now over here, what's going on is the the militia oh, is fighting God. is fighting these guys. So that's okay. Because if we lose any militia, we can train more, and hide you know train more and stuff. Yeah, look at that! That <coughs> that that veteran Let me killed show him. You how it's done. See now, what I don't know what Hannah's doing because she's taking a long time to get to help. Okay, now, yeah, see, look at she done sixty four. She done sixty four damage. Now here's Granny. Wow. So, so Granny's got like an assault rifle. <laughs> so yeah, so the, the still the thing about is that's gonna be, yeah, th those weapons. Now, now lucky there was some. Get fucked by an old lady. Yeah, like like that. W w we're lucky. We Looking are. For orders. We are lucky. That there was some cover there for that when when that MG opened up when that MG opened up this cover that got destroyed was what helped her to get out of that bad situation because each of these had overwatch set up with like you know an MG type of weapon like you know those are if they if they hit you straight on you, you lose 60 to 90 health right there from just one of those blasts. I mean, I've, I've seen Grizzly or Nails do that. Like, he he can just concentrate the whole fire on one person and kill him outright. So, but anyways, okay, so. Um, we will, we will figure this out right now. So, at, so honestly. What? I can take her. And, and 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 she could go right Knowledge. over here. She can go all that way. And there you go. And give her some health. So that's the first thing that I can do. And so now, Wait. and all I really gotta do is get Flay to go right right to here. Got a view to a kill here. And he's already locked in. Now this is what I call hunting. 
So if you look at Flay, his kill count is 138 of 1,000. Like, I have no idea when it gets to 1,000 what will happen. Like, will he leave the game? But we're a long way away from that from that ever happening so but anyways okay so uh, I believe that resolves the situation here because you know like I said if I didn't come over here to help her she would have been dead granted uh, granny uh, came over here to help her but imagine if these three guys like two of them had their full health and the other one got stabbed by her uh, can you imagine, you know, and, and like I said, it would it, it, it would just be nice to to have everybody survive. That's all. It, it's all. That's all it is. It, it ain't like, you know, it's a, you know, I mean, if two, two of the ladies died, I mean, it would no, be no big deal to us personally. But I mean, it'd be nice if they, now, now let's, let's, because we got that resolved and I didn't, I didn't w use these two guys yet because I don't see any other enemy in this area so I think we are good unless they were to spawn some more but I, I don't think so so you want something so it it might be possible like I don't know if it is but it, it might be possible if I tell her to go get my ass relocated if I tell her to get right to there I hope there's a lot of blood. Now, I hope that she does not hit this part right over here. Like, I hope she does clearly see that. Good. More buckhead trophies. C'est super, ma chérie. Okay, so now that is one of the three of them done. Oui? Now the question is, yeah, see he doesn't, oh, now if he goes to, if he, if he, okay, cancel, cancel, um, yeah, it looks like he could see that guy, Let, let's, I understand. let's try it, I mean, this is the only thing I can do is try. Oh no, and there is a guy right here. Okay, but I have a good shot at this fool. Can you okay, well, we we got to try. Let's see. It, this is a long shot unless I unless I try for the arms. That'll make that guy inaccurate. L let's try the for the arms. Yeah. yeah, so now he's inaccurate. And he's almost dead, so that means he'll, he'll probably miss, and then we just gotta worry about this guy here. And so, yeah, so that is all that they can do at the very moment. So. But we do have somebody over here now. And so, like, yeah, wherever. Okay, so there is an enemy right here, so. You know, whatever lady is over here, we, you know, they, she's surrounded by the militia. So, I mean, she should not be in danger. So, I should not have to worry about that. So, I think these, Larry, these, clean and sober. these guys, I really don't think we can get to him. Um, because if I go he here, but then again, he's, he's right there on top. So maybe, yeah, yeah. Why don't we, hmm. like if, if I would have put him, yeah, so no, like I said, yeah, all right. if I put him here, Moving out. Oh, there's two of them over there. Okay, so yeah, so we're gonna have to get over there then. So 
So yeah, because there's two over there, uh, I'll, I'll get. I'll, Make sure the chicas are watching. I'll get Smiley over here, and that'll set these two up to fight these two. And these two already done their thing, and uh, we already done that. So if Flay, oui. yeah, Flay doesn't have any more that he can do. Yeah, and I don't even know. Yes, so I I don't think I'm gonna be able to complete this, and and it, it it's it's unfortunate. Like I said, he would have. He would have had to have had a uh, he round, and unfortunately, I had him loaded with flashbangs. And I don't have enough AP to try to reload, and it's going to only reload flashbangs. So, I mean, even if I were to look. Yeah, see, I have three he rounds, and I think what I did is I wanted to make sure she had he rounds. And that's why we have a lot of flashbangs. That's why I gave the other guys flashbangs. That was my reason in any way. But as you can see, I didn't know that I was going to get Flay should kill two in one in the same turn. I mean, the only way you can do that is, like I said, if um, if you didn't even move Flay and the enemy was and a couple of enemy were right there, and he could shoot twice and he hit each one in the head, it's possible he could do it that way. Or he throws a gr couple, two grenades and kills two. Or he, he shoots a he-round and then reloads another he-round and shoots it and then it would kill two. So I mean, I, I mean that's the way that I would see to do it, but I can't and, and I'm just yakking away. So we'll just end the turn and see what happens. Oh, he's setting up. Okay, they're both setting up Overwatch. And like I said, he's going to be inaccurate. Find a good position. Oh, but now he's going to blast. Oh, there's three of them over here. There's three of them instead of two. Uh, and at first I thought there was only one. And, and, these yeah. poor, and these poor guys are in the open area. Because I was trying to assist her. And there's no way that I can cross... There's no way that I can cross the, um, the water. Oh, and then there's, there's Wilmer right here. So Wilmer is here with one of the military, but they're focusing on uh, Wilmer. Let's take the fight to them. All right, but good. Another one is coming over to assist. So that's really nice. And then these guys are gonna kill this guy eventually. Now see, I think that's because he has a perk called reactive uh, fire or something. So. so yeah, so don't forget the enemy has, you know, certain perks. Like I'll, I'll tell you this, even at, when you first start this game and your guys are all level one, the enemy has perks, so they're, they're not level one. They're, they're, they're something else. Like, I, I can tell you one of the first things that bothered me in this game when I was first playing it on First Blood. I couldn't understand why some, some of the enemy, when you, when, you, when, you sh when you go to shoot them, they lay down so you're not going to hit them. And that's because they have a perk that does that. <laughs> so can she? Alejandro is on the battlefield. Okay, so now. Look so, out, chicas. So yeah. Get overwhelmed by my manly presence. So now you know uh, how can we assist uh, Trudy? Um, I don't know. Let me see. No way. This will not work. Okay, so he, he tells me that, so I mean, can... The hell you want! Yeah, see, she's... The, how am I, I... I'm not gonna be able to hit them unless I, I use a... Yeah, but oui. that... 
But then again... Dang, I, yeah, I don't know. Well, he's got... He's got 12, so if I burn 3... He's got a flashbang. She's a sniper. And so because we can't get an angle... Like, and don't forget, she's got... A, uh, yeah, I don't know. How can I do this? Alright, well, let, let's try this. You want something? Let's try the sniper first. Easier than shooting beer bottles. That's what she says. I don't know, but we're gonna try it. Now, hey, that worked. That took out one of them. And on top of Watch that, we put this one down like a sick dog. She can lock on to that one, so that right there is nice. So now let's see what we can do over here. Yes, boss. Easy. I will do it right now. Okay, so now Smiley is over here. Now, he has a he can make a really good shot on one of these guys. Or it's showing that he might. Let me try. If I pull this shot off, it will look so impressive. Yeah, I don't know. Out of sight, the attack may hit a random body part. Well, you know... Yeah, that, that was a waste. Okay. Larry, clean and sober. Alright, so then uh, Larry's, sure. gonna, Larry's gonna get over here. And because she's locked on to him, got a good clean shot here. I think we're gonna put a few shots onto him. Oh, oh, that's hot. And you could say if Smiley would have shot one of these instead of trying for that, I was just trying to help her out. That's all I was trying to do. These guys can't get the right angle. We oui. like Yeah, you know what? If I what could if I could put Pierre here, it is possible that he could but then again it's saying obstructed. But why does it show that he could unless he does another one of these? Let's try that. Like I said, I don't know if that's helping, but... I will make this as painful as possible. Okay, so now because uh, Larry wounded this guy and Pierre had enough AP to just shoot one shot, it was nice to take him out. And so... The reason I didn't have Pia shoot at this guy was because he's uninjured and she will have a possibility of shooting him when it comes back to our turn before I get control of her she'll take one free shot on him. And so that my friends. Alejandro Diaz, brave and noble. Yeah and I am totally out of that so then huh? we have flay here and we know that i cannot get two kills in one turn of the way this battle went you know i mean i i guess i'm gonna have to make sure that he has he rounds instead of flashbangs so that way if I get this again, he'll have a he'll have a chance of doing it. 
I mean, he does have this uh, that you can throw. Throw a timed explosive arm with TNT, dealing 44 damage in the area. Explodes after one turn. So yeah. Okay. I don't know. I guess I could run him to here. Bad problem. Well, I'm as to reload her. And if you notice, she she loaded a he round. It's because you know, like I said. Um, I did, so now do I need to come over here and help them? I don't think so. Going right now. So she's gonna go the maximum that she can go. And that is my six, so I can't do anything else. We might as well like this is what's more important right here, I believe. So let's see. Now with uh, I'll tell you this though, with with our guys here. He's not going to try to shoot her. He's going to shoot these guys or, or these. I, I don't know. We'll see. Let's, let's, let's I just... thought foreigners were stupid and could not shoot with a dab. What is happening? Oh, man. My equipment is falling apart. Yeah, Pierre Fix does. It. I still have work to do. Yeah, they, they don't like, they don't like Pierre because... Because Pierre joined the other team, like he he he, he betrayed them. <laughs> so it's kind of funny. So Granny's gonna. Oh, hey, that's really nice. Granny can shoot really good because she didn't hit one of our guys. She shot in a way that just shot the enemy. So that that's really nice. I was worried that we were gonna get some uh, collateral damage. And see how, you know, at night time, how, look at this, like, the allies shot over here, Just like in it, it totally, it totally, it totally missed. So yeah, they killed you won't the pay for this, foreign dogs! Oh yeah, look, she's got five uh, militer in this area protecting her. Oh, and and she used her shotgun. And, hey, and uh, and 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 he's now almost dead because she did take that shot. Oh wow. Okay, well, let's see. Yeah, like I said, I, I don't know. Like I said, I, I can't get Flay all his, you know, two kills. But, but I could try to give him this right here. You know, so now he's got 139 kills. <laughs> but he's going to be mad at me for not getting him two kills. But, he, you know what I mean? Like, when you have to move the person to, to be engaged... That takes up AP and stuff, and it's just it's not possible. So I believe. Uh, so did she? Yeah, look, she. Oh yeah, look, her her. That sh that weapon. I think it's it's a shotgun she's got. It killed both of them. Wow. That is awesome. Alright, so while we're here, let's take a look and see. Alejandro Diaz, brave and noble. They're just vitamins. Cool. Alejandro is here. Got it. Milk! 
down here. All right, why don't you go patch? You're the boss. You go patch him up. And yeah, so Hannah didn't get hurt. Acknowledged. All right, well, I'm gonna send her this way. We'll see if there's any enemy in this area. She can go a long distance. There we go. And now that is that, and I and I think the only enemies are is over here, I believe. So yeah. Merci. I am ready to fight again. Judge. So at least the way this went down, uh, none of the grannies got killed. So it was definitely helpful to build the militia here. Oh, because one just died right there. So, I mean, we'll have to make some more once we get out of it. And see, that guy, you know, he should move Remember his... Your spacing. That militia that was shooting at that enemy, he should move... Because if, if he's overshooting because it's nighttime and he can't see, he should move closer. Instead, he chose to still shoot, and, and like I said, each, each, twice of his bursts totally miss. The turn before, and, and then this turn here, they totally miss. For the coffee beans! And then these guys are just hanging around the boat, so they're not really in a position to help out. Well, at least that guy tried. But you can see at nighttime, what? You, you need to get a lot closer so um let me see if i could get her yeah still she's so far away going right now all right she's gonna go <laughs> this way that's about it i mean really no Got it. Oh, wait a minute. Is that her right there? We? Oui? You want something? Ah, yeah, you. I am here. So, is she is she totally not hurt? Like, are you telling me that Trudy didn't get hurt uh, with those three that were there? Because what's interesting is Pierre can't use his bandage because nobody can get... I mean, that little bit there, he can't get... We're going to have to go into the sap view in order to, to do that, but... I understand. I, I'm going to put him here to see if... All I was going to do, and it's... Alejandro Diaz, you, you might think it... You might, you might think it's silly, but I, I was going to give her a bandage if she needed it. Like, that's what his purpose was, but then I noticed she was right here. I could have sent him right to her, but I didn't... I didn't quite see that. So then... The hell you want? Yeah, just get up. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes, when, going. sometimes when you move yeah. these people, they gain a stat, so... Sure. We'll, we'll just do that. We'll just do that for that purposes. Mm. I go to set up my shot. And there we go. So let's get back over here to... These are the only... I think these are the only two guys left. Fight down on your pain and fight on! Okay, now, this is a good example of what... What knives and machetes do. Those melee guys, 
And this is why it's very important to kill the melee guys first. If you're worried about the Overwatch and you're worried about assault rifles and all this other stuff. But I, I think the melee guys are the ones that you really need to kill first. Because this is, just, this is a perfect example of what, what one can do, let alone two or three or four or five of them can do if they get to yes. surround you. Um, he swung, he did two stabs, and that was enough to take 40 damage and 40 damage away from him and killed him outright. So we lost a few militia. And then this guy, this militia over here. Oh no, this is old Vinny. And she, she's she been doing Overwatch this whole time, but has been totally missing on this angle. And matter of fact, it is nighttime, but there is a light here. So I mean, you would think you'd be able to hit the target, but nope. But okay. So enough yakking about that. Acknowledged. <laughs> okay, you only have six AP. Ready to shoot. And you're gonna go arms oh. because we want that person to be inaccurate. And so that's all you could do. I mean, I could have shot a he round, but again. At this point in the game, I don't want to waste those. I only have like one or two left. They're just vitamins. Cool. And Larry's gonna run. Melt down here. And melt down. Okay, and then where is this lady that's over here? Like, where did? How far did she get? Yes, boss. We oui. like she is totally gone. Oh, she went back to here. Alejandro Diaz, brave and noble. All right, this is what I okay. This is what I wanted to do. So okay. For love and glory. We know she's not gonna die. She's standing, and she killed those guys outright, but. He's just going to give her that bandage, so that way it, there's no problem there. Okay, and that, and that means I am here. Pierre's hurt, but he cannot, the bandage isn't here, so that means in sat view is the only way that we're going to be able to do that with medicine. And so then we're just going to do this me. only because it's possible that he could get an agility, he could get something. Mm. And Flay is not going to be able to help us. But he could go to hunt. here. So next round, he should be able to come over here and maybe get a shot on. Just like these guys might be able to get. And then she's going to be able to shoot again next time. So that is it. All the AP is gone for everybody. And I did basically what I wanted to do. So we're going to go ahead and see what happens. How we can get this to conclude. All right, let's see if... Yay, so she finally hit that guy at least. Oh, there's three of them. I will take the fight to them. Okay, so... And, and then what I've... I'll tell you what I've noticed in this game. Those guys that have shotguns, they also have blades. Let's take the fight to them. But some of the militia's coming over here. Even we lost some of the militia. And, and I'll show you at the end of this, you know, how much militia we're going to have to train. But old, old Winnie, she has to reload. And here comes Kayla the Cutter and, and Granny Kohini. And then all those guys are hugging the boat, but they could possibly shoot, but it's not, it's not reaching. Oh, hey! 
Hey, they, 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 they did it. Wow. They, they got a lucky round there. Lucky round. And Rudy Trudy wants to now get into it now that she's been patched up. Yes. Okay. So now I don't think you see that I one. don't have a good shot. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Cancel. All right. Now it's probably not recommended to do this, but I think if if she goes here and look at she could go here with a free move. This is why I like that. Going right now. That's a total free move right there. And that means she has the amount of AP that she has. And so if the first shot doesn't work, the second burst. Target locked. Oh look, she can click into five times. Let's try for the head. And there. Morale is improving. Tumilisha got promoted. Dead, I still want to fight. What else can I kill? All right. Well, okay, folks. Affirmative. Well, I don't need these weapons. We'll take the ammo. Will do. There's some loot in here. Shotgun shells and armor piercing rounds for the 556. So that's always nice to get. Sure. Go. Certainly. All right, and I think all the old ladies uh, survived the battle. Like I said, the only the, uh, I'm sorry for the slow start in this video of the, the quest not working the way I last tried it, you know, like, like how, how did they all automatically join? There's over there. Hey, now this is good because I like this light stuff with the extra upgrade. So we, 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 will, we will repair that later on. And give it to somebody who doesn't have that. Ah, uh, yeah, and this too. Nice. Because although I know that you can have heavier armor and... Yes. and Good job, friends. Keep fighting like that, and you might be remembered as the coffee beans cute sidekicks. Yeah, so see, okay, so you know, it's it's kind of disappointing because I wanted to show you this particular quest line, and it just didn't work the way it normally worked. And for the, you know, I, I'm sorry that the delay of the game, you know, like the, the but the way this went down, like. Like yeah, like, like in like in the in the notes. Perhaps something to help with the hunt, huh? Yeah, like in the notes here, if I can find find it, I I think now it's completed, so I have to look. Man, it's a lot to do here, but um. I'm sorry, again, <laughs> like I don't see it. 
Let us see what is to be found. Where the heck is it? Yeah, I, I don't see it. I don't. I. I. I don't know. It's kind of weird, but you know what I mean. It, it, it's. I should see coffee beans here somewhere, and I just don't see it. But just like here, right? It had all the checks, and that's why when I looked at that, I knew that the quest didn't work the way it normally works. Usually, it's a lot of work. Usually it's a lot of work to recruit these. You have to have the right person talk to them. But because these are all multi-purposed people, I think, maybe that's why the quest didn't work the way it is. Because, you know what I mean? As you can see the way this went down, right? Each lady was in their area of where they are where if you you can do this quest where they all go and talk to the lady and so that they're all around here so it's it, it's it's kind of weird this that this is the there dif are some trophies over there this is the difference like it's it's very weird come we go but we're just gonna get over here I didn't see I didn't see any loot over there from the bodies. We are moving out. And I don't think there's any over here where Kayla was. Yeah, no, yeah, whatever. So okay. So this this lady does sell some stuff. A modified well, you know, I don't use the RPK-74s. There, there's something about it that I don't like. Um, uh, but, but we will buy he grenades. Heck yeah. And... Well, uh, let's see. We, c we can take a look. What? We can take a look at that f I uh, Like, I already have some of those. But we'll see what kind of mods they put on that one. And we can buy heavy armor only to scrap it. And we'll do that. Ready. The only thing I won't buy is the, um, Got it. the RPK. Because I know I'm not going to use it. Just like I don't use the... Well, I'd only use it if, 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 okay, so if I recruited, oh, well, if I recruited a new person that only has a pistol and I happen to have, I picked up from loot an, an AR-15 or M-16, then I would give that person that for now. Um, because, you know, deep in the game, you don't want to be using pistols, okay, unless you're point blank on somebody. <laughs> Uh, and that's all I'll, that's all I'll say on the subject okay so I don't believe uh, we have to yes. I'll talk I'll talk to granny to see if she says anything I don't know if she will, will. cuz we already got whatever reward we were gonna get the fucking Asian had no chance against the coffee beans and you were the money's not to fucking piss your pants so I guess that's something Yep. All right, Granny. F uh, uh, goodbye. All right. So the only, like I said, the satisfaction of being nice Ready. and keeping uh, them alive out. was the the whole point of this uh, video. So, with that said. We'll go to here and we'll, we'll, and, and we were doing some training and stuff, but, okay, so we are here and, um, we will, uh, go to operations. These two guys are available, so we will do that. 
Uh, we will... If Flay is the only guy... Uh, look at, like I said, he's... You could tell how good I trained the, the top four people, like... Like, you know, he's at 91. And we'll just auto-do that for now. And we'll let we'll let that go on for a better moment. and better until I am the best. Okay, and then at Camp La Barra or whatever, um, you know the enemy is attacking, and you can see how, you know, this is a constant thing that happens. And 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 honestly, you know, at this point in this commando difficulty game that I'm playing you know at this point I my goal is to recruit the uh, major so we will auto resolve that and we survived it and th that's sitting there but that is that so while, while we're just sitting here and then this team you can see that they're training in dexterity I believe because, like I said, if, if, if I'm focused on something or if you're focused on something, you know, you can't be focused on two things with two teams. So it's best to at least, okay, well, these, this team is deficient in a lot of areas. And so it makes sense that, that they're, holding, they're holding this area because the enemy is going to be coming from here constantly to try to take it. Just like they'll try to take this. And then eventually they'll get over here. And like I told you or mentioned, you need six outposts before you attack the Major. So that way you'll be able to recruit the Major. Because that gives you enough points. Uh, and this is only one outpost. The second outpost is right here where I have eight, so they haven't even hit this one yet. So that's the second outpost. And then I think this is, uh, oh yeah, and this is an outpost over here that we gotta get. Then we gotta get this outpost. And I think there's an well, we don't. I don't want this outpost because this is where the colonel is, and I. I want to have the major to fight the colonel, so I. I um, so I don't want to do that. I think it's this one right here. This outpost F nineteen. So it's a long way to to get over there. Plus, I have to solve the uh, the plague. The rabies and stuff and we haven't done the good place yet so that just gives you a summary of that and so while that team is still doing dexterity this team is training I forget on what but it'll be done in seven hours I'll just show you a little bit more and then we'll end the video And, and all we're doing is we're, we're repairing everything that we can because we just fought a battle and I think everybody is busy uh, there's because there's no scout there's none of that that I can do and and then yeah they, they, they need to the military training is finished train two defenders do you want them to do more? Yeah. I will deprive the local female population of my company in order to do this. All right, so three dexterity, four dexterity. And Flay did his thing. So, so I think for, oh yes. This? Oh, so I must have been doing dexterity too for this team here. Hmm. All right, well, because that is over, we can at least maybe treat wounds. 
And so Pierre is hurt, so I'll have her do that. And at the same time, you know, um, I can show you Craftman. And now, if we look at Crafton, you can see what we got. We got a lot of 9mm. Like, you know, and I'll tell you what, this is one thing in the game that I wish could be changed. I wished we could convert this 9mm into some other type of ammo. Like, I wish there was a way of doing that. What's the point of having 1,379 9mm ammo, which I'm not even using? Like, I, I don't... I think, I think right now, Fox, because at the time when I hired her, she just had a pistol. I think I gave her a, a weapon that shoots 9mm. She's the only one in the, of all these people that have a 9mm weapon at the moment and, and eventually she won't have that and so this is just a waste of ammo and we got WP because I, I think we're not even using a weapon that has that and NATO is we're using that a, quite a bit and so yeah All right, so if we are using NATO, Okay, and then we'll also make I'm trying to find it, but I don't see where it is. I mean, I know we'll be eventually using the 556. So, yeah. All right, so I guess we'll go with hollow points. Okay, we'll just make some of those. So while that is going on... Uh, there's nobody. Okay. We got too much going on, so we don't have anybody available. So, Okay, so now you can see here again, they're attacking this place here. Eventually, they're going to win. Yeah, this is the weapon right here that I gave Fox. Um, because, and the only reason is because I can mod it to extend the uh, distance on it and stuff because the pistol she had did, didn't cover the, that particular uh, range so I, all I'm showing you is just a little bit of this here and then we'll end the video um, because don't forget these guys are making militia And the militia training, train to defenders. Okay, so now they need victories in order to get to elite. So now if we double click on this here, you can see that I got eight here. I got eight here with the mine. This mine is giving me 4,000 a day. And, and so therefore, um, 
And he's making ammo. And this team is training dexterity. So if, if, if he's the only one making ammo, then just technically, I could, I could try my trainer again just to help these two get a little bit of something more in dexterity. And if I have anybody else, these two, which they already been there, but we can do it again. And we can just let let it. I'll let it train one cycle, so that way I can show you. Uh, Flay, it's gonna take Flay a lot. Look, it's gonna take him two days to make this ammo. I mean, seriously. I'd better off making her make the ammo because she'd she'd do it more efficiently. Task still in progress. But right now, she, she's training those two. Better and better, until I am the best! Okay. Pierre gained three dexterity. So now his dexterity is to 74. But, you know, eventually I gotta, I gotta get it to 90 because the perks that I pick are dexterity a lot. And that's why you see these guys are beyond 90 in dexterity because that was something that we worked on and yeah so I, I did say that once he's done with that we'll we'll end our uh, video and and then these guys are done so they're gonna be able to do some more stuff later on like I don't know what else I'll show in this uh, campaign I'm just trying to do a better job in the campaign and it's on a harder difficulty and just doing some of the things that I didn't get to do in my first uh, playthrough so it's a much more of a funner experience and so I should have a better result at the end of the game when I get there but this is one of the things of how you do it is but he, he's just, he's taking a long time. Hey, look! The enemy attacked uh, this where these guys are. And we're not going to fight it because I've already fought a battle. So Now, when I do this, I, I hope that none of these guys die, obviously. And, and, and they did it. Only he got hurt, truly, if you look at these guys. So Red got hurt. And we can, matter of fact, I can show you the inventory. We might as well. And so you can see that uh, the inventory, and look, we got some flashbangs. So we got seven there, so we can look over here and see. Yeah, you can see this team. They've got quite a bit. Like, look at, that's now 30. And then we have an extra one. And then we have some armor piercing NATO. So that's really good ammo. I don't know if this team... Yeah, look, they got 50. So now... Now they have 88. Because we'll eventually use that. And then we always cash in those. And so, yeah, so you can see that this one is almost fully modded of what he's got. And Barry, same, same thing, almost fully modded. And, and even him with the golly now, you know, and so this team was newly made uh, just recently. And 
you can see that I did give them the only one at the time when I when I because I recruited all of these people at the same time other than I think red red I had with uh, Scully and Gus and all them and I let I let buns go I let Vicky go well I've already s explained some of that stuff but so she had that pistol and I just so I modded this so it has a 26 range and she's using the match ammo at the moment so she'll use this for for now until I can get her a better sniper rifle and then even her I gave her one of these ones that I had modded so she's got that along with a flashbang and then she's using this because of the simple fact that we have to have somebody use up the 44 ammo because and for now, so she, so she can have the Winchester. It's not a bad weapon. It's pretty good. But this is what she came with, so I gave her this. You know what I mean? So this was just to show you some stuff in the, in in the game of some of the things that you can that you can do. And and so what I would you know so just to show you what I would do once we get attacked like that. I obviously want, if I have medicine, I want somebody to take care of that. So, so those two will do that. And look, no militia got hurt. So the eight militia that we got here did not get hurt. So we don't even have to do that. So only Red was the one that got hurt in that whole battle. That's kind of interesting. So now we can tell two people. And we can just auto-fill for now. And so we have one round, and then we'll have to do it one more time to get everybody up. And because they already have all these things, we don't have to put them in this. Finish with my task. I'm gonna take my 15 minute break now. Okay, her and her 15 minute break. We'll do this one more time. We'll auto fill. And all we're doing is waiting uh, for the healing to get done. We don't have to make militia. And now this shows you that they're all back up 100%. Their weapons are all done. And, and, and I can say the same thing about this team here. That, that is that. And so I think, you know, overall, um, I showed you quite a bit in this, even though I, I know that this this quest that I showed you just didn't work the way it last worked and so I was a little confused so but anyways we are done so no matter where you are in the world have a great day a great afternoon a great evening please take care of yourselves be kind to others God bless to you and your own religions keep all religions equal this is your friend Jeff signing out Adios amigos and adios the lovely amigas.